A 19 year old accused of fatally shooting another teen was arraigned on four felony charges, murder and gun related. Police say Kevin Duran managed to evade capture for days, then was found hiding in a closet in a home on Union Avenue yesterday. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni was in court today and joins us with the developments. Anita. Kevin Duran was arrested four days after allegedly shooting and killing a 19 year old in a Providence Park over the weekend. Prosecutors say he admitted to killing that teen in court today. A 19 year old murder suspect answering to his alleged crimes after being on the run for days. Prosecutors say over the weekend, Kevin Duran was at a Providence Park with the victim, 19 year old Juan Carlos Morales. This defendant discharged one round from a firearm, striking the victim in the chest and killing him. Police say witnesses identified Jerron as the murder suspect. They learned days later Jerron was at a home on Hudson Street. A SWAT team surrounded the home for hours. Turns out he wasn't inside. Fast forward 44 hours. Police say they located Jerron at a multifamily home on Union Avenue. When a tactical team entered the home, they found Jerron hiding. Kevin Jerron was then located in a small closet under the stairwell hidden under numerous, uh, numerous articles where he was trying to conceal himself. These images show the small closet where Jerron was found, neighbors capturing the arrest on video. Police telling 12 News Jerron was emotional when he was being brought into custody. This is the third time in just over one year Jerron was arrested for gun crimes, according to court documents. When someone gets released, uh, especially when, when we know for a fact they should be, of course it's frustrating. It's frustrating to anybody. Gun violence is a problem in our city, and it's something that that uh, honestly keeps me up at night. There are way too many guns in this community. The gun used in the shooting was not recovered, according to the police chief. This is the city's sixth homicide this year. Now, no plea was entered on Jerron's behalf. He was held without bail and is expected back in court next week. In Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.